Continuing with the show cause hearings for serving alcohol to a minor, the selectmen met with a full agenda Tuesday night. The meeting began with an executive session to discuss litigation regarding Boston Executive Helicopter versus the Town of Norwood. The board did not make a statement following the executive session. The board then had Paradise Barn Yarny Point in Bamboo Cafe in to discuss the show cause hearings for serving alcohol to a minor. Both establishments were given verbal warnings. The last agenda item of the night was Mark Ryan presenting a new water emergency agreement between Norwood and Sharon. Uh, Sharon, uh, unlike Norwood, Sharon has its own well supplies. 70% of its uh, well uh, capacity is within 300 feet of an active uh, freight railroad. And they are very concerned uh, about that, that in the event of a catastrophic event, those wells would go offline. In addition, they are concerned with uh, emergencies uh, if those wells fail for any other issues. And, and the town of Norwood has emergency connections to Walpole, a smaller one, and Westwood. And uh, Sharon would uh, you know, like to do the same to provide some kind of insurance policy to them. As Mark said, it would be for emergency connections, understanding that an emergency might be a six or month period or a 12 month period. It wouldn't be a day long water emergency or anything like that, but we make money off the water. We get a substantial amount of lining done uh, at Sharon's expense. Um, the pipes, I think, in that area of town are around 40 or 50 years old, so it would come up on our schedule at some point. As you know, we've talked about we have 30 some odd years before we could line the entire town, so this is certainly a help in that direction. It's almost the equivalent of two years worth of MWRAs. Uh, borrowing so it's a, it's a good deal for us it's a good deal for Sharon if I was them I would certainly want to know that in the back of my head I had an emergency access to enough water for the entire community and I think it's a good deal for them it's good for us. Selectmen moved to accept this proposal with a unanimous vote. During the Selectmen's agenda the board discussed new rule changes to the use of Highland Cemetery and the gazebo. A vote was made to continue the discussion during the next meeting on August 20th. With five hearings scheduled on Tuesday, the Zoning Board of Appeals had a busy night. Four of the meetings requested permits to build additions to their current home. The board approved all requests. The ZBA will meet next on August 20th at 7.15 p.m. Wednesday was a busy day in town government with three meetings scheduled. In the afternoon, the airport commission met for around a half hour before going into executive session. The board discussed and approved prior meeting minutes, gave an update on the ongoing project of the major Mark C. Welch administration building, and discussed correspondence. The next airport commission meeting will take place in the coming weeks. After taking some time off during the summer months, the school committee reconvened on Wednesday night. The meeting began with some brief housekeeping matters, then the committee hosted the elementary school principals to discuss some revisions to the student handbooks. Individually looked at, you know, most of it is aligned in the blue pages. So the blue pages, as you remember, are, are unique pages to our school. So there are some questions came up about bicycles was like a small one. But, you know, me being on Washington Street in South Norwood, I don't allow bikes. It's a dangerous uh, place for kids to be riding bikes. But Brian being tucked in a neighborhood, he allows bikes. I think that's reasonable. I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, so there will be some slight differences based on the neighborhood school situation. Um, and then uh, we got some feedback on some of the white page stuff and it seemed to us and we kind of clarified this and talked with Teresa that the white pages changing them would be more of a bigger um, group of people that should be looking at it it feels like to us for, for years now they've been used as a mechanism to inform parents of what the law is and it feels like you want us to interpret the law more closely for how Norwood looks at it and then reacts to it. After some suggested changes were made, the handbooks were approved by the committee. Following the handbook discussion, Principal Robbins had some good news for the committee regarding a new playground that is going to be built at the preschool. When we first made the move to the LMPA, uh, Carol Poirier actually was right on top of getting some initial uh, donations for a playground, knowing that that was going to be something we would need. Um, so where it says NPS Preschool Playground Revolver, that $6,000 was raised single-handedly by Carol Poirier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, um, and to that end, we've had some discussions with our committee about possibly dedicating the playground to her in her name. Um, she was such a, a staunch supporter of early childhood education um, that I can't imagine a more appropriate person to, to dedicate the playground to. Haven't spoken to her family yet about it, so if they're listening, that's a <laughs> surprise. Um, but just to kind of tell you what we did, we, um, we had that initial $6,000 that that's in the MPS revolver, 
And then the uh, PTO was willing to, they had some um, additional money in their coffers that they were willing to just sort of earmark for the playground as well, which is that initial $5,000 up at the top. And then through fundraising efforts through the second half of this year, we were able to get um, to uh, the $18,000 mark plus the $6,000 to get to $24,000. Um, we did solicit two bids uh, for the project, one from Ultiplay and one from Creative Playthings. Ultiplay has done some uh, playground projects, I believe, in Norwood in the past. Um, Creative Playthings, we have a parent on our committee who has a connection uh, to the company um, and has been wheeling and dealing and trying to you know, play that angle to get as much discount as we can. So we're very pleased to report that we have a bid for um, $23,000 to build um, a very appropriate preschool playground in our space. The committee approved the plans for the playground and construction will begin in the fall. Nord News will be following the construction of this playground. The next school committee meeting will be September 11th. At the final meeting of Wednesday night, Norwood 1420 Realty Adventures appeared before the Conservation Commission. They discussed the overflowing of the basin at Wendy's and BJ's gas properties. On July 17th, the basin had to be pumped out due to water overflow. A few days later, the basin filled back up with water again after a rainstorm. Justin Ferris of 1420 Realty explains their plans moving forward to correct the issue. We had concerns about the basin not working. Obviously we wanted to function as intended. It was built as the plan depicts. Um, and we have these two options in front of us moving forward that we'd like to try um, when we have a good weather stretch to establish some vegetation on that bare slope and uh, go from there. We spent a good deal of uh, effort and money on the two separate uh, fixes in June and July and unfortunately we got met with kind of ferocious thunderstorms right after. So uh, we've kept Al in the loop the whole time. Um, he's met us on site plenty of times. He's overseen the repairs we've done. We're gonna continue working with the town. We're not running from this problem. We want it to function as intended. Um, 1420 Realty will continue to work on improving this issue and will be updating the Conservation Commission on their progress. To watch complete government coverage, please tune into the Nord Community Media Government Channel or watch us on demand at www.nordcommunitymedia.org.